Spice Girls and Atomic Kitten, there was an all-girl all group making waves right here at home. Girlfriend, check it out. They were the girls next door with a pop edge. In 1992, they knocked Rocker's Silver Chair out of the number one spot on the Aussie charts with their first ever single, Take It From Me. From there, they became a pioneering force of 90s girl power, launching hits like Girls Life. Bad Attitude. Oh, is it a Laura Branigan cover? Hey, we have the uh, band's frontwoman Robin Lau with us now, who's starring the new musical theatre stage show, uh, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell the Panther, which is a Bonnie Lithgow uh, uh, show. Hey, Robin. Uh, hey, hey, how are um, you? So, Take It From Me is uh, back in 92, that was released, uh, and you knocked off all these grunge bands because grunge was so cool. Yeah. But then Girlfriend came out and killed. Yeah, well, it was kind of strange for us because uh, at that time, pop was a dirty word in the music industry, or especially the Australian music industry. Mm -hmm. so, um, so it was very new for us and we just had no idea that it would take off the way that it did. Um, so we were... We and you were young, lucky. you were babies. I'm looking at you here, it's like, yeah. wow, you guys were really young. Yeah, yeah, yeah look at Mel. Mel, look um, at I love well, Mel. Most of the girls were still in school, right. finishing their HSC. I was actually working in a record store and um, in a stage show out at Australia's Wonderland back in the day. Nice. And um, they approached me, they were at, um, they went to a dance school, Janice Breen's dance school in the eastern suburbs of Sydney and approached me, they said they needed a lead singer and that's how we kind of got together. But um, yes. The Breen machine. How the Breen. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, it. props to Janice Breen. Yeah. You, you, you mean you went gangbusters both here and overseas and you actually ended up uh, recording in Japanese. Let's have a quick oh. look. Wow. Take it from me. I like it in both languages. How long does it take to do that? Uh, we, um, we had language lessons, Japanese language lessons, but we also went there, I think, nine times. Yeah. Wow. And um, so, you know, that kind of made it easier for us to you know, learn the language. But it was, it was a great experience, you know, we were fresh out of school. Oh, yeah. And pre-Spice Girls. I mean, Spice Girls were not... You guys were the OGs. Yes. And four years after that, this, this mob turn up. Yeah. Ripping you guys That's off That's a coincidence, isn't right? it? Yeah. You had a run-in with the UK manager of the Spice Girls. And do you think that might have given him an idea of what was going on? Yeah, well, we actually had dinner with Take That, uh -huh. which were on the same label, wow. and um, their manager went on to make uh, the Spice Girls, or form the Spice Girls. So I don't know how much of, of that was a blueprint um, for the Spice Girls. Who knows? Mm. Wow. There have been rumours circulating recently of a girlfriend reunion. Uh, can you confirm or deny this? Well, uh, so it's our 25th anniversary of when we released the um, debut single. And uh, we met up a couple of weeks ago. Yes. So we, I hadn't seen the girls for over 10 years. Wow. We sat down face to face with them for, for that long. Um, and it was great. The girls are just lovely and uh, successful in their own uh, arenas. Mm. Um, Siobhan's a successful uh, interior decorator and Mel has her uh, video production company. So, uh, and the uh, Lorinda is a, you know, working very hard with two very young children. So, um, you know, we're all doing well and we're, you know, we're in discussions of, of meeting up later on this year and, and doing something quite special, but... That's a yes. That's a yes. <laughs> uh, just quickly before you go, because we love Bonnie Lithgow, who we love her pantos, and you're playing Tiger Lily in Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. That's right. Yep, that'll be um, something e exciting for me. So we hit uh, oh, the look goal. at you. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Woohoo! Um, so we go to the Gold Coast on the 23rd of June, we open, uh, the 7th of July in Sydney, and then 
After that, we go to Melbourne. So this will be the first time that Bonnie Lithgow takes her pantos yes. out of Sydney. Yes, she's only ever done them in Sydney before. Mm. Congratulations. Yes. Thank so you. great to see you again. Thank you. Thanks Thank you very that much. That girlfriend reunion is going to happen, everybody. It is. And it's going to happen. Of Peter Pan and Tinkerbell opens on June 23. For tickets, head to ozpanto.com. Thanks again, Robin, Good for coming in and joining us.